out in the garden, not quite as early as usual. It was cloudy today. And so I found a packet of beet seed, early wonder, that have been in the basement for maybe a year, maybe two, and I don't want to save them any longer. So I thought, well, I'll just uh, scratch the ground a little and throw them down and see. I never have luck with them in the spring. Maybe I'll have luck with them in the fall. Our turnips are up. And our kohlrabi is just starting to come up too. I see more turnips than kohlrabi. I see quite a few turnips. And of course, I just broadcast them so they're not in a row. They're everywhere. And I'm sure I'll be thinning them so that they will make nice big bulbs. Oh boy, yeah, we got turnips. Mm -hmm. This and morning when I came out, I scared something out of the garden. Rabbit? I it was a squirrel because he ran up the cage where my pumpkin is growing and knocked off one of the pumpkins which was okay no it was okay the oh. pumpkin probably needed to go it didn't have good support where it was growing and there's a big one on the other side so getting rid of that one will just make the other one probably grow a little bit bigger but I never could decide but I think it was a squirrel because of the way it about sounded. had to be about had to be a squirrel yeah. and the other day I found tomatoes that had been picked and I believe that was a squirrel. Oh. But we salvaged them. I might have just scared them on the way out. And my sweet potatoes are just gorgeous. I didn't know they would be so pretty and bloom. Yeah, look at these sweet potatoes. Aren't they beautiful? Yeah, they don't always bloom, but these are Beauregards, and I read that they had more of a tendency to bloom. And the bees and the little wasps are all over them. So I'm getting pollination. My oh, oh my gosh, look at the peppers down here. Oh, I know. I've got peppers and I still have eggplant. Oh, look at those peppers. Wow. The eggplant have turned off on the blooming, though, because the minute it gets cool, they stop blooming. They and, love hot weather. And, you guys, of course, you can see our... Oh, our there are There are our uh, turnips there. You can oh, the see they're popping up. Yeah, they and good. over here on where, where, the end... Where are you uh, going? I'm trying to get a Brussels sprout there. There. Oh yeah, this one's. Yeah, one standing of our one of our nicely. neighbors gave us several Brussels sprouts plants, and mm -hmm. the rain the last couple of days has just beat them to pieces. That but was, I think they'll stand. I think they're going to come out of it. Boy, the rain. We've had several days of rain, and they're kind of beat up. But we so, think they're going to come out of that. I think they will. Look, the turnips so are some, scattered all over. <laughs> they made it everywhere. Yeah, we got turnips all over there. Oh boy, we're gonna. We won't, we won't starve this winter. Don't, don't count your turnips, though, before they're made. And while the beans over there are blooming, I thought I saw cold might, get, might get some late beans there. Oh, boy. Yes, the beans have been a sad subject. It's been hard enough to get a mess of them. I don't know what's going on with them. They're blooming, but they're very slow. And I don't know. They're all mixed up. I, threw, I also found some pole bean seeds that were, I don't remember how many days, but... It doesn't matter. I'm not saving that old seed any longer. I poked them in along the fence. I have probably five or six of them coming up. Maybe I'll have some extremely late beans. And then again, maybe the deer will eat them on that fence. Yeah. I don't know. And boy, look tomatoes at the tomatoes. are about done. Some of these were determinate tomatoes. So once they put on their big flush, they are done. That's it. Yeah, that one's going. I see one going downhill pretty fast. Showing up, so I need to get out here and trim that off. This is a big tomato, but it has a lot of has a lot of fruit, and it's it still, does. It's still blooming. Yeah, we had tomatoes with breakfast this morning. Mm -hmm. Tomatoes with pa potato cakes from our new potatoes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're eating pretty well. I think that's uh. Oh, and I see okras here. Oh yeah, I've been picking the okra every day. I don't have a lot of okra, just enough to eat every ever so often. Yeah, there we go. There's. Yeah, we've been having okra. It's great. We love okra. My fall cucumbers are up, so I'll have some cucumbers late. I'm trying to have something left over after the main garden is, is done. Oh, boy, these peppers are just beautiful in here. There we go. And let's see, I see egg, I see a little eggplant down there too. If I can zoom, yeah.
getting those beets into the soil. Uh-oh, the rake just the rake just broke its neck. Aw. Oh. We can fix that. Yep, you can fix it. You want me to go get a fire rake? No, I'm just gonna finish with it. It'll hold together long enough to do this. I'm not gonna work it hard. I'm just gonna do a real easy kind of let's try and cover them. Oh, it <laughs> fell off again. It is supposed to rain. Now you beheaded it this time. Yeah, it's supposed to rain again tonight, so it'll get rained in again. That dove is really speaking to us this morning. Oh, I had a hummingbird over there on that blue salvia. Just sat there and watched. Mm -hmm. They really like that. That is sort of a perennial in our area. I say sort of. You kind of need to mulch it to keep it overwintered, but... Okay, that's, uh, that's <laughs> fell off again. Yeah, that's going to be my finishing. We're going to say whatever got covered and comes up is good. Otherwise, it's done. Okay, well, that, that ends the uh, turnip update and the garden report. Thank you for visiting. <laughs>